Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the best wine tourism destinations in Italy. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the finest towns, cities and regions in Italy to partake in a glass of wine, both for committed enophiles and for vino newbies. Lombardy this region is known for three things above all else, the sweeping Alps mountain range, the various lakes, and of course, wine production, with over 1 million hectolitres produced per year. Lombardy's history of wine can be traced back to the ancient Greeks, who travelled from Athens to the Po River, where they traded the beverage with Tuscany. There are 13 main wine regions within Lombardy, Valtellina arguably being the most historic, being rooted in the 5th century. Valtellina limits how much wine it produces since the wines usually only last five decades. For quality and quantity, Ultra Popovese produces over 50% of Lombardy's wine. While Lombardy offers a variety of wines, sparkling is its specialty, and no region does it better than Franciacorta. Lombardy is known for its cheeses and meats as well, which pairs beautifully with a glass of wine while enjoying the mountain or lakeside views. Marche Distinguished by its hilly landscapes, you can immediately tell that Marque is a lush region for wine production. The vineyards account for almost 40,000 acres of the region. At least part of Marque's greenish yellow hue can be attributed to the grapes that give us Verdicchio wine. Marque is the main supplier of Verdicchio, producing this wine since the 14th century at least. This region also produces Trebbiano, the grape behind one of the most widely consumed wine styles in Italy and is believed to be the original source of the Pecorino grape, which is used for over 20 types of wine. While Marque is primarily associated with white wine, it appeals to red wine lovers as well, with Montepulciano and occasionally Sangiovese. With the region being nestled on the shoreline, Marque is tailor-made for those who enjoy kicking back with a bottle of wine on the sandy beach. Montalcino, Tuscany Tuscany is among the most prosperous wine regions with several standout spots. The hill town of Montalcino may not be Tuscany's largest wine producer, but it's grown exponentially over the past 60 years. During the 1960s, Montalcino had just 11 winemakers. Nowadays, there are more than 200 to be found. Montalcino is best known for manufacturing Brunello di Montalcino, a red wine derived from Sangiovese grapes, with roughly 330,000 cases released annually. In 1980, Brunello was awarded DOCG status, becoming one of the first three wines to receive this honour. This gave Brunello a prestige quality that comes with a high price tag. You'll feel like royalty sipping on a glass of Brunello, with Montalcino's medieval architecture adding to the illusion. As grand as the scenery is, Montalcino's small size makes it ideal for a walking tour, stopping here and there to admire the vineyards. Veneto the Veneto region consists of cities such as Venice and Verona, making it a cornerstone of Italy's culture. So, it's not surprising that Veneto is one of the country's foremost wine suppliers, as well as the region that produces the most DOC wine. There's an ample variety of red and white wine enthusiasts alike. The red wine crowd will be drawn to the garnet hue of Valpolicella, the dry texture of Bordolino, or the flavorful scent of Amarone. White wine lovers can drown themselves in the fruity blend of Suave, Prosecco, and Gambalara. While Veneto is well suited for a wine getaway, it's also a prime destination to learn about wine. The town of Conigliano includes the oldest and most respected wine school in Italy. The curriculum consists of cultivation, harvesting, vinification, and marketing, guaranteeing you'll leave a wine professional. Sardinia There's just something about drinking wine on an island that makes the experience all the more special. Sardinia stands out as the Mediterranean's second biggest island and one of Italy's premier producers of wine. The white sand beaches pair perfectly with a nice white wine, be it Nasco or Malvasia. The turquoise waters also complement red wines such as Monaca and Bovale. Of course, no red wine on the island can top Cananao di Sardinia, which the law requires to be made at least 90% from native Grenache. As you can tell, Sardinia takes its wine very seriously. Whichever tickles your fancy, there's nothing like taking a bottle and your significant other out on a boat for a romantic toast against the sunset. And don't forget to bring a picnic basket of local cheese and olive oil as well. San Gimigiano, Tuscany When in Tuscany, you can't limit yourself to just one wine region. San Gimigiano is famous for its tower houses, hilltop locale, and of course, its wine. No wine is more intertwined with the town's identity than Venaccia di San Gimigiano. 
This white wine marked Italy's first entry into the DOC in 1966. 27 years later, Vernaccio would join the DOCG club. The Vernaccio grape can be traced as far back as 1276. By planting this historic grape in sandstone, a dry, crisp taste is achieved. Although San Gimigiano is predominantly associated with white wine, red wine is produced as well, with Sangiovese making up most of the blend. There are several local wineries that provide fetching views of the neighbouring Romanesque and Gothic buildings. While enjoying your wine, order a slice of golden ham, which San Gimigiano is also renowned for. Abaruzzo Bordering Marche, Abaruzzo produces Coca-Cola, Passerina and various other wines that will go nicely with a platter of cheese, olive oil and salami. However, two wines reign over all others. Trebbiano de Abaruzzo DOC is a white wine with ties to Bombino Bianco and Trebbiano Toscano, creating a fruity sentiment with a hint of almond. The only wine in Abaruzzo that commands more esteem is Montepulciano di Abaruzzo, which was upgraded from DOC to DOCG 20 years ago. This red wine provides a rich fusion of flavours consisting of tobacco, oregano and black fruits. There are four main wineries in Abaruzzo that make up most of production, although there are smaller wineries if you're looking for something more intimate. Whether skiing during the winter or taking in the national parks on a spring afternoon, a warm glass of wine always hits the spot in Abaruzzo. Sicily How do you top tasting wine in Sardinia? Well, by taking a wine tour of the Mediterranean's largest island. Sicily's vast size reflects its variety, being one of the largest wine producers in all of Italy. 23 wines in Sicily have achieved DOC status, but Cerasuolo di Vittoria rises above the competition as the island's only DOCG. This dry wine is comprised of Nero Davalo and Frappato, two of the three essential red grapes, the third being Norello Mascalese. If you're more of a white wine person, Catarato is the most common grape in Sicily, and Caracante is also indigenous to the island. For a balance of white and red wine, the Etna region has Norello and Caracante grapes to go around. You couldn't ask for a more enchanting locale in Italy to indulge in a glass while lounging on the beach, keeping an eye out for Jennifer Coolidge. Chianti, Tuscany if you're up for another round in Tuscany, head over to Chianti for one of Italy's most atmospheric wine experiences. This rocky region is settled between Florence and Siena, offering a splendid view of the surrounding mountains to go with your wine. Although you'll want to spend part of your trip drinking under the Tuscan sun, no visit to Chianti would be complete without checking out a wine cellar where the magic happens. As for what's on the menu, the region naturally shares the same name as its most popular wine. Chianti wine is not only distinguished by its inimitable flavours and high quality, but by the admittedly old-fashioned tourist-friendly bottles wrapped in straw baskets. Usually, we'd suggest recycling empty bottles. When it comes to Chianti, though, it's worth keeping the empties as a souvenir to remember your Tuscan wine tour. Permonte Few regions in Italy have a better reputation for wine production than Permonte, which is saying a lot. This northwest region has over 40 DOC wines and almost 20 DOCG wines. For red wine drinkers in particular, you're in for a rosy treat. Permonte is practically synonymous with Barolo and Barbaresco, which are crafted from the indigenous Nebbiolo grape. If you visit Permonte in October, you'll arrive just in time for the annual Nebbiolo harvest. The real reason to visit this time of year though is for the autumn scenery, which goes splendidly with the exquisite appeal of the legendary Barolo and Barbaresco. For something sweeter, you'll also find wines made of Barbera and Dolcetto, the latter of which translates to Little Sweet One. You shouldn't sleep on Permonte's white wine selection either, Arnais being a favourite in the Ruero area. Whatever your drink is, you won't leave without toasting, here's to Permonte. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.